Ever meet any soldier members? Maybe. Do you think that they're happy? What do you mean? Heroes to children. Protectors of the peace. But they're not normal. They get some kind of special surgery. Don't they? So they say. Normal is best. I think so. At least, those soldier people are kind of weird. They're weird, huh? And they're scary. They fight, and they love it. So I've been having some thoughts about Roche being in Rebirth. Now, we had seen Roche in Remake. There wasn't too many scenes. He wasn't a very big part of that game. In fact, he only mostly appears in Chapter 4, Mad Dash, when you do the motorcycle fight with him, and he appears at the Shinra warehouse when Jesse's trying to get the new blasting agent. But I think that what they've shown us in Remake has actually been a really cool symbol of what Soldier represents. And what I mean by that is Soldier members are crazy, man. We've seen in Remake, this dude, as crazy as he is, kills his own guys. He kills Shinra soldiers in Remake in the pursuit of Cloud during the bike chase. One scene that really freaks me out about Roche is the scene where you're fighting him at the warehouse and after you beat the first phase of the boss battle, he stops for a second and he just looks at his sword in this very kind of psychotic, not normal way. He almost sort of kind of checks out of the fight and then he brings himself back all of a sudden out of nowhere and says, let's continue this fight, let's do this. Dude, that scene showed just how crazy Roche is. And I think with Rebirth, they need to push this even further, right? And what I mean by this is that they should kind of establish that Roche would be a fourth independent party involved in the Final Fantasy VII storyline. So we'd have Cloud in the gang, we'd have Sephiroth and whatever he's up to, We'd have Shinra Company in the gang being a third party, kind of getting in the way of Cloud in the gang. And then Roche would be this fourth party pursuing Cloud, randomly showing up to threaten him and attack him. And Cloud would have to do his best to kind of defend and just see how this character develops or what he truly wants from him. So let's imagine a scenario for Rebirth, for example. Let's say Cloud is infiltrating Junin. He puts on the Shinra Infantryman outfit because the company uh, mistakes him for being a part of it, right, in his soldier outfit. He's wearing this uniform. He's trying to sneak through the Junin security and blend in with them, but somehow he says something wrong or they see something on him and he is discovered to not be a Shinra infantryman. All of a sudden, there's a room full of guys aiming their guns at Cloud and who shows up? Roche starts attacking, killing all the soldiers and he looks at Cloud and goes, hey buddy, I've been looking for you. There's still things we need to do. Remember when I said there's new heights that we can soar to? Let's do that now. And it's even further clear with this character that he has a huge obsession with Cloud because if you played intermission with Yuffie and you're trying to take down all the Fort Condor opponents, Roche appears as one of them. He appears in the Sector 7 slum saying, hey, I'm looking for my friend. I don't remember what his name is, but I have heard that him and his gang are around here. They have a headquarters here. I am looking for him because I want to meet him again. He is so crazy for Cloud after meeting him on the Midgar Expressway and at the warehouse that he is willing to do anything, anything to see him again and fight him. I think in Rebirth, we should do something crazy with Roche. I think Roche should have a much more substantial, impactful, and more radical appearance in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth compared to Remake. So if you guys have any thoughts or opinions, you can leave them in the comments section. I'd actually love to know what you think about Roche since he's this brand new character that has a very kind of disheveled mind, right? And what you kind of hope he's gonna do in Reaper. I think it'd be really cool to hear your thoughts. So please leave those in the comments. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.